What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE Elite Action Figure Pack, and we are taking a look at the Target exclusive WWE Elite 3 Pack Hulk Still Rules. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Is this the Hulk Still Rules 3 Pack? I, I, that's what I'm going to call it, damn it. I guess it's, okay, okay, technically, I guess it is the WWE Elite 40th Anniversary Hulk Pack, or the Hulk Hogan 40th Anniversary 3 Pack. I think that's really what it's called. But we have a slew of stuff going on, man. This is hitting Target Store, so you definitely want to be aware, man. I actually got mine in my Target yesterday. Also picked up an Ultimate Warrior. Also picked up one of the Legends figures. So all the Legends and everything that we discussed in our video from yesterday, man, you definitely need to be on the lookout here. But I'm excited because this is a pack that I've been looking forward to. I'm very much excited for this pack. We have three different Hulk Hogans here. A lot of people kind of on the fence, you know. Are you in the camp that you feel like we're getting too many Hogans? Or, you know, are you all aboard the train? I'd like to know down in the comment section below, man. But here is our front viewing window. Absolutely love this packaging. It has a very Jax Classics feel. Reminds me of that Hulk Still Rules 3 pack from back in the day, but we have three different versions of Hogan here. So in the front viewing window, you can see all three versions of Hogan there. Sort of like a timeline a little bit there, which is really awesome. But here you get the block WWE logo. Little image of Hulk here from Hollywood. We got Hulk Still Rules over here. True Effects logo. Down here WWE Elite logo. And then you have Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and then Hulk Hogan again. I think we need more Hulk Hogan in here. And if we flip it to the back, you do have the same deal here. Kind of a timeline order. You got Hogan, Hogan, and then Hogan. So just panning through there, man. Very cool packaging. I'm actually really digging this. For me, I really enjoy the Hulk Hogan figures just because he's nostalgic for me. You know, growing up as a kid. Kind of the tail end here, moving into here. I mean, that's just, it just eats it up for me. On one side of the packaging, you do have the black logo. And then going down, you do have a nice photoshopped image of all three versions of Hogan there on the side. And then at the bottom, you do get the WWE Elite logo. And then on the other side, it's just the pattern. And then the WWE Elite logo again. But with that being said, man, let's crack all three Terry's out of the packaging and find out what this pack is all about, man. Shut the hell up, get them out of the packaging, put them on the rotating base, and find out what this Hulk 3 pack is all about. Alright, man, so here's all three Hulk Hogan's out of the packaging. Unfortunately, I can't find the plug-in piece to my damn rotating base, man. So here we are. I'll, I'll definitely find that, but I do apologize for that. My office is slowly coming together, but I'll have to find that for future reviews, of course. Nonetheless, man, here are all three Hulk Hogan's. I am really enjoying this Hulk Hogan three-pack, man. There's a lot of stuff going on here. You get three top-line elite figures, a ton of accessories going on, multiple cloth goods, some newness going on here, a lot of fix-ups popping up in my brain already for stuff you can do with this three-pack. But I'm really excited for it, man. What we're going to do is just go left to right, and I guess we're just going to break down everything thing one at a time and work our way through this entire three pack man so what we're gonna do first start off with the left hulk hogan then we'll go to the middle hollywood and then we'll go over to the hulk still rules breaking down each accessory breaking down the figure and then at the end we'll get into some comparisons with each figure with each era and whatnot so starting out with our first version of hulk hogan we do have a brand new head sculpt right here man and this one right here is very nice because he has the bandana going around now i do call this the fruit roll-up head sculpt which is very funny because i mean like look at that you're gonna tell me that a little like he's eating a fruit by the foot brad come on on. But it is cool that he has the bandana going around. You guys can see the graphic Hulkamania. And then the bandana goes all the way around. It's tied on his side there, so it's kind of falling off. He's got it in his mouth. I think it's a unique look, you know? I think it captures Hulk Hogan pretty well there. Got the blonde locks going on. Got the bald spot, of course. Kind of weird as far as the sculpt is concerned. Like, as far as it connecting over the hair there and all that. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that, but I don't know. Not my favorite head sculpt, but not a bad one. It's a cool inclusion. Going down to the t-shirt, this shirt right here reminds me a lot of the Storm Collectible version. It's got the Hulkamania on there. It does have the white on the inside, and it's no Velcro, and it's got a very nice stretch material to it, which is cool. Also kind of reminds me of a lot of custom shirts you'll find around the community, so that's nice, but the Hulkamania is very clean. It's the same tan that we've seen from this era of Hulk Hogan, double jointed. Very nice body. I think they do a really good job of capturing his likeness here. And then if you lift up the shirt here, we'll show a shot of him without, you know, his, his shirt on here, but he does have these light blue trunks, which look really, really clean, and they're actually lighter. They're a more like lighter sky blue than the like Carolina blue that we saw on the Ultimate Edition from the Rip and Zeus 2 pack of the Ultimate Edition. But he's got his same standard legs going on. Then you got the knee pads that were synonymous with Hulk Hogan there. And then you do have the same light colored boots here, which look really, really clean, man. Really need to get my hands on the damn American made Hogan. Don't have that one. So definitely need to do that. Now for this version of Hulk Hogan's accessories, we do get the WWF title. Now this is the version that ran from like the mid to late 80s. And we did see this back in the Defining Moments Hulk 
Hogan figure. Came with this exact same title, I'm pretty sure. And that's it, dude. That's so long ago now. It's like almost 10 years ago we got that figure. And now to see this version and all these Hulk Hogan's coming out really blow it away. Just unbelievable. But it's a nice championship. And it's actually a championship I've never owned in my collection personally. So this is going to be a nice milestone to contribute to my collection. But it looks really good. You know, not my favorite design of the title, but definitely cool and different. Wish they had some more details on the side plates, like the coloration and stuff, but it's still cool. You also get a Hulkamania shirt, which is the ripped version of this shirt. So you have an option to display him with the shirt like this, which I will be choosing to do. Definitely going to be, I don't know if I want to use this shirt or that. I think I'm going to use this shirt on this figure and then use this shirt on a different figure maybe for Hulk Hogan, but it's got Hulkamania and it does Velcro in the front. So you can do the, you know, the iconic shirt rip, which is cool. And I'm, I'm very glad that they're finally starting to give us shirts that don't rip too. That way you can have an option to display play it with it ripping or not ripping, but it also has the holes in the back, which is a very nice touch, and this is a great shirt, man. I feel like we've been getting a lot of red shirts lately. And then for his interchangeable hands, you do get mic holding hands that make the world go round. We get pointer fingers to point at his opponent and tell him to shut the hell up, but also you could use these for a lot of different reasons, obviously, but it's good to have, you know, the number one hands for Hulk Hogan. And then on the figure itself, it does have the interchangeable fists. So you get fists, mic holding, and pointer fingers for this specific Hulk Hogan. So for our first comparison, man, we do have the light blue Hogan here, and it is on comparison with kind of all of our different Hogans here. Now, of course, we do have the Survivor Series Elite or whatever. We have the Mega Powers 2-pack Hogan. We have the Elite 96 Hogan. There's other Hogans that we could compare this to, but these are kind of just your different trunks, your different Ultimate Editions, your kind of different vibes that look similar to this figure. It's kind of crazy. There are three other Elites that have this exact body mold as this figure and this figure. These other three are Ultimates. So this is the Coliseum Collection, this is the San Diego Comic-Con Exclusive, and this is the regular Ultimate Edition from Series 13, I think it was. So it's just crazy crazy at the amount of Hogan's we've gotten in the last two years, but it is cool to see these all next to each other. Of course, I don't have the original Defining Moments figure. I don't have the American Made Ringside Exclusive. Those are figures I'm missing from my collection. However, we've kind of had better versions of that Defining Moments figure, so I don't really think it's necessary to get that figure now. Like, we have the belt now with this pack. We have many shirts. We have many looks. I mean, there's definitely some things you can do to create that figure, but yeah, man, it is kind of nutty. It's nutty at all the Hogan's we've gotten, but it's cool to see these up next to each other, and this does have like the tan we've already seen, the torso we've already seen. So getting into our Hollywood Hulk Hogan, I did want to remove all the accessories of this Hogan before we dive into it because I wanted to take a look at this new skin tone and this new torso for this Hulk Hogan. Now if you guys are wondering, we're going to get into it in the comparison shot of the video, but these Hulk Hogans from the different eras are not the same tan, man. So you guys can see this one's a little bit darker right here. So I thought initially when they said that this, you know, that they were going to do a new torso and all of them were going to have an updated tan, I thought they would stick with this skin tone that they gave this Hogan and just apply it to all of them. But this one is a little bit different here. A little bit more realistic tones going on with this one. And I guess the Hogan's moving forward. But this head sculpt we did see on the Ultimate Edition beforehand. The likeness to Hogan in the face is ridiculous. I don't know really how they captured that. But it looks pretty good. I like this head sculpt on this body like this. You know, we're going to get more Hogan head sculpts to, to interchange and stuff like that. But here is a look at the brand new Hulk Hogan torso, which I think looks very damn good. I think they did a really good job here. I think it captures that build pretty damn, like, uh, right on the money, I would say. It's very, very clean. I think it's very realistic. Jacked arms look good. Jacked shoulders look good. I like how, you know, it's kind of like his pants are on higher or his tights are on higher because the belly button's at the very bottom right there, but a very, very clean look here, and it may look like it's two different tones on camera, but it is not. It is not. I think the big thing is the arms are shiny and the torso is more of a matte finish, so it's kind of giving the illusion like the arms are a different shade, but they are the same shade, but it is weird that the arms have a shine to them and the torso does not, but going down, this is all nostalgia for me, man. Hollywood Hulk Hogan, you got the white tape with the glove. This is sculpted glove hands with the mic holding there, so that looks really good. We saw that back on the ringside exclusive, I do believe, for the first time. White wrist tape, you got the Hollywood going around with the lightning bolts and the film reels. On the other side, it has the lightning and four life down here. So many different fix-ups coming into my brain right now, but I don't know how many of this three-pack I can, I can purchase, man. Yeah. I mean, it's 65 bucks a pop. I mean, there's plenty of fix-ups to be done, but we'll see. You got black knee pads on there. Then you do have the really clean boots. Now, one thing that's good about these boots is they're more accurate, I think, than the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan that we got. And we are going to see, you know, the best of Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And we're going to do a comparison. I'll show you guys. But this is more accurate boots. The lightning blue here 
and flames going up right here is very much more accurate in my opinion compared to his ultimate edition which we're going to get into however the boots look really really clean man this is awesome i'm really enjoying this man but let's get into the accessories that you get with this guy as well now not only do you get the mic holding glove sculpted hands but you also get the two sweet glove sculpted hands which which i think are so nice man these look so good. Very, very clean. I love the sculpted glove hands right here. What would Hulk Hogan be without his bandana? We do have the Hollywood Hulk Hogan bandana here. Now, I don't know if that is accurate right there. I don't know if that, you know, that little gap or that misprint right there is supposed to be accurate. I'm not completely up to date on the lore there, but I, I, I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's more of a natural look, but you do have the black bandana with the white designs going on right there. Then we have the silver sunglasses. Now, I want to say these are the exact same sculpt we saw on multiple Hulk Hogan we've seen over the past couple of years the elite 91 the ringside exclusive the ultimate edition i do believe this is the exact same sculpt but i could be wrong about that i'll know more about that when i get into the comparison shot and then we get the beautiful muscle tee right here man the hollywood rules hulk hogan nwo shirt looks immaculate right there man that looks so good i love how it like drapes over the the head there and it's completely cloth we have seen I don't, I don't think we've ever seen cloth of this style shirt. I feel like every other time we've ever gotten this, it's been in the rubber. But this looks really, really good. They did a great job on this. Fits the figure really well. And you guys know that on our elites now, you can't just pop the head off and then slide that on there. So that is just so nice to be able to just slide it on there, slide and pop, man. And then boom, he's wearing the shirt just like that. So I love that. This is, I don't know, I, I may rank these at the end. I think I'm going to rank them. And I think, shoot, at the end of 2024, we're going to rank every single Hulk Hogan we got in the year of 2024. Yeah, I might do that. So for comparisons for the Hollywood Hulk Hogan, here are some different Hollywood Hogans or some similar variations of this Hulk Hogan look. Now we are getting this Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan re-release later this year. And I believe it's going to have this tan, but with this look and pinless joints. So that should be really fun. So imagine this body with this exact formula, pinless with this skin tone. Should make for a pretty damn good figure. But I also kind of want to look at this new torso up next to our old looks. I mean, it's not even comparable. This is way better than these. Like, not even close, bro. Not even close. And this skin tone does look better than uh, this classic skin tone here. Not that this is bad. I still like this a lot. I think this is clean and nice. But I think it is worth the upgrade for sure if you're, like, debating which one to do there. This three-pack is off the chain with the, with the newness here. But I do want to, I guess, undress these Hogans, which makes me feel uncomfortable. But... Let's take a look at what they look like without their accessories on there so we can get a better measure of what their torsos are like. So here are the figures without all of their accessories, man, and it's not even close, man. I mean, what were we doing giving them this torso right here? This has never fit an era of Hulk Hogan, I don't think. Not any Hulk Hogan football I've seen, Brad. This is much better, you know, I, I think that this torso and skin tone would look immaculate on so many different Hulk Hogan figures. Mr. America comes to mind, the Elite 91 comes to mind. Hell, even that Elite 34 chilling down at the damn con Hulk Hogan would look all right with this. Or just this at least. Like that torso, that Kane style torso looked okay on that figure. But I don't know. Updating that would be pretty cool, man. But nonetheless, it is cool to see these up next to each other. These are wild times we're living in to see this difference right here. Kept the same shoulders and arms with you. You have that cut up torso, man. I mean, good lord. Also, I wanted to compare these just so you guys could see they are different. So you have sort of an older style, you know, 20 years in the future compared to the other or near 20 years, whatever the hell it is. And I don't know, man. This is just really cool to see these, you know, this transformation take place. But I think that pretty much wraps it up for your Hollywood Hulk Hogan comparisons. And last but not least, man, we do have our third and final figure in the set, which is the Hulk Still Rules figure of Hulk Hogan, man. This is super nostalgic for me, man. Very nostalgic for me. The Hollywood Hogan was as well, but this one also contributes heavily there. Very nice coloration. I love the contrast between the shirt and compared to... I just love how bright the yellow is on this figure. I like the Hulk Still Rules bandana right there. And the only accessory that's not on him right now... Okay, I guess so there, there are a few accessories, but this is the smiling head sculpt that we saw in the Ultimate Edition. Very clean aesthetic going on there. He also has the, the new tan that they have uh, released here for Hulk Hogan. And he also has this new shirt here, which I'm noticing a new style shirt. I guess they're going to start doing these style shirts where they have white underneath and they're stitching on the edges there. 
there. And hopefully we see that a lot more in 2024, man. No Velcro on this whatsoever, which I think is amazing. Hulk still rules. Graphic, you get the weight belt on there that is not accurate, but it does say Hollywood on it. Got the Hollywood weight belt on there, which again is the, you know, we're getting a new weight belt. So hopefully, you know, we'll get, we'll start to get weight belts with different Hogan's and then we can put them back in other ways in our collection. I'm hoping that they make some mainline Hogan's that are easy to obtain. That way you can get those belts with the accurate mold and put them on these older Hogan's. I mean, they're new Hogan's, but you know what I mean. White wrist tape in there. He also has his tie-dye style pants on right here, which I don't know. They never really do a great job of capturing that tie-dye look of the tights. But the red and yellow mixed together looks okay here. Very similar to the Elite 91, but it kind of has like a yellow base with red instead of red with yellow. Red knee pads in there, and then he does have the yellow version of the boots instead of the red version with the flames on it that we saw in the Elite 91. So I can already see a fix-up coming there. You have the yellow Hogan boots right there. Doesn't have his face on them, but it does say Hogan. He's got the white laces with the red flames. Very toyetic guy, man. I mean, I know it's kind of basic and whatnot, but at the same time, a lot of stuff going on here. But I am really enjoying this three pack so far, man. I think these guys are going to have very good possibilities to be uh, near the top of the list when we get to the end of end of 2024, but let's get into the accessories that you get with this Hogan. Now, of course, you do get the Hulk Still Rules bandana. You do get the Hulk Still Rules t-shirt right here with no Velcro, and then you also get the weight belt, but they also gave him another boa, which we've seen a hundred times. Not a hundred times. I saw it with the Mr. America, which, God, can you imagine a Mr. America with this skin tone and torso? Jesus, that would have been so nice. Or the Elite 91 with this skin tone and torso. Or the other countless Hogans with updated tans and torsos. I mean, there's just so many things you can do, man. So many things you can do. Oh, God. Nonetheless, we do get the boa there. It's all glued together in one mold. We've seen this before. And like I said, you also get the Hulk Still Rules shirt, but this time it does have the Velcro down the middle. But you do have the graphic there. It's got the rips in the back, which is awesome. It's very cool. I mean, it's kind of weird that this looks to be like kind of pressed on with an iron. And then this one back here seems to be like, I don't know, I guess screen printed on. And it doesn't, it makes the graphic kind of look a little bit flat, but it's not too bad. I guess I'd rather have no Velcro and have the shirt look like that than, you know, this over here. But I don't know if, if there's a way to combine the two, make the graphic stand out more, but it does look to be like screen printed on. But outside of that, you do get the mic holding hands. You get the Hulk up, putting the hand to your ear, ricochet, Kawhi Leonard entrance style, handshaking style hands. And then out of the packaging, he does come with fists to beat the hell out of everyone. And then here's the Hulk Still Rules Hulk Hogan up next to the rest of the Hulk Hogan's here. You guys can see in the middle we have the brand new three-pack Hulk Still Rules. Then you have a couple Elite 91 Hulk Hogan's, one with the accessories, one without. God, dude, that's such a drastic difference. And then you have the Elite 101 Mr. America, and then the second fan takeover version Ultimate Edition of Hulk Hogan over here on our right side there, man. So just so many damn Hogan figures. It's unbelievable at all the Hogans we got here, man. But it is cool to see these up next to each other. I really do like this version of Hulk Hogan. Again, very nostalgic for me. But it is just wild to see the upgrade and the difference between the torso choice, the tan... The likeness, how it brings the figure together a lot. It's truly unreal how nice it looks. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 40th anniversary Hulk Hogan Elite 3-pack Target exclusive set, man. This has been a very joyous experience. I've really enjoyed the newness going on here. I like all these figures. Of course, we have like... I think, what is it, five Legends Hulk Hogan's coming this year? Not to mention this three-pack. Not to mention any Ultimates or something that are unforeseen. So it's unreal, man. It's unreal the amount of Hogan's. Oh, why can't we get Cena like that? Damn. But at least he's a toyetic guy that made some cool changes here. You're going to be able to dress them all up in these different shirts and bandanas and all kinds of cool stuff. So I imagine that this pack is going to sell out very quick. Like this, is, this thing is not going to last on shelves. I think my target had four of them. When I took my one, they had three left. So we'll see what comes of all that, man. But I really have enjoyed this set. Again, it is hitting target stores. I would go check now, Brad. I would go check right now. If you really want this set. But that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this Hulk Hogan Elite 3 pack review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. What do you think of the new torso? What do you think of the different things? Let me know all that stuff down in the comment section below, man. But I am getting the hell out of here. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas for everything they do for me. Appreciate each and every single one of you guys. But that is going to wrap the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.